திருமலையாத்ரை செல்ல வேண்டும் ராதே ராதே ஹரே ராம ஹரே ராம 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 ஹரே 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 கிருஷ்ண ஹரே கிருஷ்ண 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 ஹரே 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 ராம ஹரே ராம 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 ஹரே 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 கிருஷ்ண ஹரே கிருஷ்ண 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 ஹரே ஹரே சத்குரு மகராஜ் கி ஜெய் ஞான வைராக்கிய சம்பூர்ணான் ஹரிபக்தி பராயணான் பூர்வ ஆச்சாரியான் அஹம் வந்தே சம்பிரதாய பிரவர்த்தகான் பிரகலாத நாரத பராசர புண்டலீக வியாசாம்பரீஷுகௌனக பீஷ்மதால்பியான் ருக்மாங்கதார்ஜுன வசிஷ்ட விபீஷணாதீன் புண்ணியானிமான் பரம பாகவதான் ஸ்மராமி ஹரே ராமேதி கிருஷ்ணேதி நாம சங்கீர்த்தனம் சதா லோகக்ஷேமாய குருவந்தம் பிரேமிகம் சத்குரும் பஜே கலகே சுந்தராக்காரம் சதைக்க பிரியதர்ஷனம் அஜானநாசகம் தேவம் சத்குரும் முரளீதரம் முரளீமண்டிதகரகமலம் முனிஜனமோகனம் வியத்தியஸ்தபாதம் வனமாலாதாரினம் பிரேமபக்தமண்டல நித்தியகீர்த்திதம் பிரேமிகவரதம் ஆசிரியேகம் நம ஸ்ரீரங்கநாத்தாய காவேரி மத்தியசாயினே அர்ச்சாவதாரஸ்ரேஷ்டாய சர்வமங்களதாயினே சமஸ்த கல்யாண குணாபிராமம் ரமாநிவாசம் ரமணீயகாத்திரம் சசங்கச்சக்கரம் ஜகதாம் சரண்யம் ஸ்ரீவேங்கடேஷம் சரணம் பிரபத்யே நாம சங்கீர்த்தனம் எப்பாபிரணாசனம் பிரணாமோ துக்கமனஹா தன்னமாமி ஹரிம் பரம் கலேர் தோஷநிதேர் ராஜன் ஹஸ்தி ஏகோ மகான் குணா கீர்த்தனாதேவ கிருஷ்ணஸ்ய முக்த சங்கம் பரம் ரஜேத் கலவோ கல்மஷித்தான பாபிரவியோ பிரஜீவினாம் விதிக்கிரியா விகீனான கதிர் கோவிந்த கீர்த்தனம் கதி கோவிந்த கீர்த்தனம் சத்குரு மகராஜ் கி ஜெய் ரமாரமண கோவிந்தா கோவிந்தா சத்குரு மகராஜ் கி ஜெய் ராதே ராதே பை தி இமென்ஸ் கிரேஸ் ஆஃப் அவர் பிலவட் குரு மகராஜ் மகாரண்யம் ஸ்ரீ ஸ்ரீ முரளீதர சுவாமிஜி அண்ட் பை த காஸ்ட்லஸ் மர்சி ஆஃப் அவர் மாதுரி சகி சமயத்த பிரேமிக் அவர் த டாக்குருஜி அண்ட் ஆல்சோ அவர் நார்த் அமெரிக்காஸ் ஐஸ்வர்ய ஸ்ரீனிவாச பெருமாள் we are exploring venkatesha vaibhavam and we are in particular looking at the lovely stories the divine stories the stala purana as it's called behind each of those seven hills we already had covered four hills the fact that our adisesham himself our adisesha alwar or anantalwar the seshanag he himself descended to be the lovely uh, padukas of our srinivasa perumal made one hill be named as seshadri sesha is our adi sesha adri means hill and since our sesha bhagavan himself came down as a hill to serve as a cozy divine footwear uh, divine padukas for our srinivasa perumal that hill was called as seshadri and then we started with vrishabhadri there was an asura called vrishabhasura who tormented all the sages who came and settled in those seven hills knowing the divinity in those hills knowing that the divinity is now potent it shall become manifest very soon in form of archavatar shrinivasa perumal but rishis can sense all that so they already came and they made the saptagiri as their dwelling place in particular one giri which is going to be named as vrishabhadri and there was this vrishabhasura who roamed around in a form of an ox huh? and tormented all these rishis and the rishis they all surrendered to the divine grace bhagavan himself came as a warrior king mounted on a horse and vanquished this asura 
but because of the divinity of that hill and because of the greatness of adisesha aivar this asura when he was about to breathe his last prayed for bhagavan's darshan and bhagavan gave him his darshan and bhagavan went on to say that you are very blessed because even though he lived a very wanton life a life which terrorized sadhus during the moment of your death you are getting my darshan and you chanted my name it is because of the divinity of this hill and bhagavan gave an extra blessing let this hill be named after you <laughs> bhagavat krupa immeasurable unimaginable beyond our thinking logic and understanding that's krupa so he named the hill on an asura who actually tormented rishis and he called it rishabadri then we saw narayanadri the mode of worship of our perumal is what is called as per agama shastra vaikana sagama and we worship perumal as per vaikana sagama shastra and it comes from a rishi called vikanasa rishi who was initiated into this mode of worship method of worship process procedure of worship by perumal himself and he came in the lineage of the vikanasa rishi his name was also narayana he was a vedic scholar so this hill was named after this great sage narayana who was enthused by perumal to worship in the vaikanasa shastra method our worship should be in line with the shastra otherwise we may call it worship but bhagavan would see it only as our hardship <laughs> shramaye havi kevala it has to be as per shastras the paddhati which we follow is of course shown by bhagavan himself called bhagavata dharma and we specifically follow premika sampradaya paddhati of worship singing while doing all the worship so that hill was called after that great uh, rishi a pure rishi who lived a life of a rishi called vipra narayana rishi so he was called narayana adri the third the fourth hill seshadri vrishabadri narayana adri the fourth hill we saw anjana adri our beloved anchaneya swami hanuman ji kanyakumari bhagavata hanuman ji jay hanuman ji janmasthana janmasthana he was born in that very hill uh, for rama bhaktas from south india ramachandra prabhu was born in ayodhya but our bhagavata anchaneya swami was born in the dravida desa uh, anjanadri dravida means pancha dravida anjanadri and today we are going to see a holy hill called venkatadri eh? and the story is very beautiful uplifting our paranur mahatma shri shri anna very beautifully introduces narayanadri in shri divideesa vaibhavam a divine work graced by shri shri anna this way asit pura madava nama deyo vipro yuva charu kale barasya क्वचिद वने काम वशेन संचर चंदाल लिताप आसीपुरा माधव नाम देयो विप्रो वंस देर लिफ्ट ए पर्सन बै द नेम माधवन हि केम फ्रम ए फैमिली विच वर्शिप्ड लर्न टॉट वेदास एंड शास्त्रास and madhava was a such a handsome young fellow he had a divine glow around himself why because he truly worshiped his parents he truly worshiped the deities he truly worshiped his pratyaksha deity which is agni agni bhagavan he worshiped hidden deities in form of guests atithiri he also worshiped his guru such was his splendor that people would go such was his splendor that people would be immensely surprised at his glow tejas 
क्वचिध्वने कामवशेन संचर वंस जस्ट लाइक अजा मेरा चरित्र वी ऑल नो अजा मेरा चरित्र इट हेपन लाइक दैट टू हिम ऑल्सो ही वेंट टू अ फॉरेस्ट he saw a forest dwelling young girl he got engulfed by lust and started pursuing that girl he was having this wonderful vesha and bhushana of a vedic scholar and people generally worship learned people na whatever be their field of study educated learned people who live the life of an educator of a teacher is always respected especially if it is divine science the respect is multifold isn't it so this little girl poor girl who used to live in the forest looked at this uh, educator teacher huh? the teacher of the society pursuing her like this and she she was taken aback she withdrew in horror धर्म सदाचारकूल लज्जा तथा बंधु भय विसृज्य धर्म सदाचार कुल लज्जा बंधु भय विसृज्य दट इज द पवर ऑफ लस्ट ऐ गेस दट धर्म इज फर्गाटन अवर वे ऑफ लाइफ अवर प्यूर वे ऑफ लाइफ सदाचार इज फर्गाटन our lineage what will happen to our uh, father grandfather great grandfather what will they think of us it was stupid and uh, shyness and uh, feeling little ashamed sense of shame to do something wrong was cast in the winds bandhu bhayam if we do something wrong those were the times when the society was extremely regulated in an informal code of conduct if you transgress that code of conduct the whole society would throw you out or an outcast bandhu bhayam visrijya and he was completely engulfed by this maya lust and he started pursuing that girl that girl was frightened she ran away dudra avabita dvijamiksha satu that little girl poor girl she ran around she ran off but he pursued her yatakat anchit parigrikya kanya amre betaya kama vasham gato so jagada gatva pitaram svavrittam chandala kanya rudati salajja in spite of all that he did this very shameful act and this young girl with tremendous sorrow sadness shock ran and told her father and all her relatives about what happened something very incredible something which is unthinkable happened and uh, what will happen the whole of the tribe came caught hold of this fellow चंडाल कन्यामुसर सर्वे चंधुजना जग्नु दुद्रावस प्राण भयन पापी तिस्कृत बंधुजन स्वक दट पापी दट सिर् वाज गिवन अ सौंड थ्राशिंग बै द एंटयर ट्रैब एंड द सोसईटी विच ही बिलांग टू कंप्लीटली थ्रू हिम औट एंड देवर अशेमड ऑफ हिस् कंडक्ट and when he was completely uh, disowned by his own family his own uh, people around the society what he would do he was going around with nobody to call his own with no way to feed his stomach with no way to find a livelihood so he had to go around begging at times even sinning to get a handful of rice he went around here and there it is tato gram kuteshu sancharan bikshamatan dheena tamo babuve jato maha paap vashena rogas chachara loke vrana khinna dekha because of the sins he committed 
if we commit an incredibly horrible sin generally it is said generally that the fruit of the sin has to be eaten in this life itself if the sin is mild then the result of the sin is also delayed but if the sin is very heavy and uh, very despicable and very heavy generally the fruit of the sin has to be experienced in this life itself so because of his tremendous sin he was afflicted with the most difficult of all diseases his skin started developing rashes and from there it started festering with wounds and worms started coming out from the wounds he was not able to speak properly his throat was affected his face became very grotesque his hands become shriveled and his whole body started emitting a bad odor stinking and people who really took pity on him to feed him also could not even come near him to feed him like we feed some animals which we may not like personally we just throw it and say okay take it people fed him pardon me but like a dog and he looked at this and say where have i come what has become of me filled with sorrow filled with tremendous sadness pain body mind everything he was moving around सब्रह्म बंधु कृपणो दुरात्मा ये दृच्छया सप्तगिरिं प्रपेदे विसृज्य वैकुंठमनंत मूर्ति ही विराजते यत्र नृनाम गग्नः सब्रह्म बंधु दट फॉलन स्कॉलर वैदिक स्कॉलर who is worthy of tremendous compassion and pity not because of what he did but because of what he has become duratma yadrichaya yadrichaya by some way or the other the reason which we may never know is called yadrichaya and generally we devotees call it as krishna kripaya by the immense grace of bhagavan sri krishna and srinivasa perumal himself saptagirim prapede a sinner who did not obviously repent he was pained he was sad he was burdened etc but i don't think he repented yet out of this immense unknown benign cause or reason which we attribute only to the immense causeless grace of bhagavan edrichaya he came to saptagiri visrujya vaikunta mananta murti hi virajate yatra nrnama gagna where did he come not to any normal place the place where bhagavan leaving his vaikunta himself leaving the vaikunta itself has come down to bless this entire human kind why to bless this entire existence visrijj vaikuntham ho ananta murti the infinite lord the lord with infinite forms ananta murti all the forms we see are really lord's forms only that's what a gnani's vision would be na such a wonderful bhagavan paravasu devan is now glowing in that hill his presence is glowing in that hill which only people who are sinless this great sages who reside in that hill could actually sense it and revel in it so he came to that place where bhagavan himself was present leaving his divine abode of vaikuntha and that place where the sinless pure purifying <laughs> rishis resided to that place our madhavan the fallen vedic scholar reached and the moment he entered that place pravesha matrena tutasya papam 
ददाघवग्निर्गिरी वै भवेन शुद्धो भवत रोग विमुक्त देहा सद्ब्राह्मण तम कृपया मुरारे गे ये गे प्रवेश मात्रे न जस्ट बाय एंटरिंग फिजिकली नो भावा नो भक्ति जस्ट बाय स्टेपिंग इनसाइड दिस वंडरफुल हिल वन ऑफ द सेवेन हिल्स तो तस्य पापम सडनली ऑल द ऋषि सा दे दे वेर ऑल यूज्ड टू डिवाइन स्मेल ना पुण्य गंधम तुलसी गंधम एंड वंडरफुल पारिजात गंधम कोमल कमल गंधम एंड सडनली दे वेर अफ्लिक्टेड विथ अनमेंशनेबल स्टेंच ऑफ सिन सटली एंड ग्रासली ऑल्सो and they were all surprised where can such a stench come from and they looked there was this fellow who was actually rotting the whole body was rotting in such a very difficult state he entered and they were uh, rishis were looking at each other what is happening this chap is entering pravesha matram he kept his feet inside the area of the seven hills immediately they saw this fellow was caught in flames and they thought oh my god what is happening going to happen to this fellow but uh, lo and behold like this western mythical bird na <laughs> you have this bird which uh, out of its own power completely burns itself and from the ashes it comes back na you know there is a bird like that right that bird's name is phoenix isn't it like that the moment this brahmana stepped into that hill which we are going to name as venkatadri suddenly they found that he was engulfed in flames the rishis were terrified they are naturally very compassionate na sadho deena vatsala so they looked at each other helpless trying to find out what to be done here and before they could even utter a prayer for this fellow the flames were doused on its own accord and lo and behold they saw this brahmana coming out unscathed in fact what was burnt was the sins not the person the benign hill burnt the sins of this brahmana and he came out pure shining cheerful and with a change in heart this hill like the divine name not only burnt his papa not only burnt his sins it also burnt his tendency to do a wrong act such is the divinity of that hill शुद्धो रोग विमुक्त कृपया मुरारे शुद्धो प्यूरिफाइड एंड ही केम आउट विद अ चेंज इन हार्ट एंड द ऋषीज वेर ऑल सो हैप्पी दे वेर ऑल सो वंडर स्टक टू कैट दिस वंडरफुल मिराकल विच हैपेंड बिकॉज ऑफ मुरारी कृपा इन फॉर्म ऑफ वेंकटाद्री प्रवेश मात्र just by the entry or association with the hill by entering huh? all his sins were burnt and not only that he was transformed into a virtuous person tato munindrair bahimani toyam drishtva samabhyarcha cha venkatesham labdhva abhyununjyam punarapagekam sammanito bandhu janaira bhuchcha the moment he came out even the papa was not alone burnt the tendency to sin was also equally burnt you see and then all these uh, rishis they praised him they blessed him and uh, they sent him back they all looked at this wonderful uh, prabhava of venkatesham the hill itself and then with the blessings of the rishis he was sent back to his village 
sent back to his house and all his relatives and friends near and dear they saw this remarkable transformation not just bodily but also the very presence mentally spiritually eh? uh, intellectually of this person and then they all accepted him back in their fold eh? and that's the greatness of this hill called venkatam eh? this venkata giri the word venkatam itself shows the meaning of why this giri called is called venkata giri vekarat praguragam samastam veng means vekarata means the sum total of all sins is called vem kataha means taddaha kataha means burning it katastu daddaha iti ryate budaihi learned say that vem katam means sins being totally burnt and when we come close to those hills when we enter into the hills all our sins are burnt and so it's called venkata giri drunan maha pap vinashakatvad ayam giri hi venkata nam deya because it completely destroys annihilates all the maha papas not normal papas you all know what maha papas na there are pancha maha papas sins which are unspeakable even those are burnt when we enter those hills you see you don't have to wait to go to our perumal sannidhi to get blessed the moment we start our ascent to our seshadri shikara prabho that moment itself the grace starts working huh? burning our sins not only that it not only burnt the sins it also made him pure and made him sat so imagine the forest of sins being burnt to ashes and from that ashes comes a wonderful parijata tree from the ashes comes a kalpataru tree that's what venkatagiri does and so a hill which completely annihilates all our sins and makes us into a gem into a crystal into a lotus into a rose worthy of offering to the feet of the lord is venkatagiri our sri sri anna refers to a wonderful pasuram blessed by periyalwar paravayeru param puruda nee ennai kai konda pin piravi enum kadalum vatri perum padam magindradal iravu seiyum paavakkaadu தீக்கொளி இவகேறின்றதால் அறிவை என்னும் அமுதவாறு தலைப்பற்றி வாய் கொண்ட தேயே ஓ கருட வாகனா பரம புருஷா த மொமெண்ட் யூ ஹவ் அக்செப்டட் மீ இன் டு ஃபோல்ட் த மொமெண்ட் யூ ஹெல்ட் மை ஹேண்ட்ஸ் நாட் ஓன்லி ஹாவ் மை சைக்கிள் ஆஃப் பேர்த்ஸ் அண்ட் டெத்ஸ் தட் இன்ஃபைனட் ஓஷன் நாட் ஓன்லி ஹேஸ் இட் கம்ப்ளீட்லி பீன் ட்ரைட் இரவு செய்யும் பாவக்காடு தீக்கொளி வேகின்றதால் தட் பீக் ஃபாரஸ்ட் ஆஃப் சின்ஸ் விச் கீப்ஸ் ஆன் க்ரோயிங் பிகாஸ் எ ஃபாரஸ்ட் ஆஸ் எ ட்ரீ த ட்ரீ வில் கிவ் பிளேஸ் டு அ சீட் த சீட் வில் பிகம் நெக்ஸ்ட் ட்ரீ அண்ட் த ஃபாரஸ்ட் கீப்ஸ் க்ரோயிங் இஃப் இட் இஸ் அன்செக் சோ மை சின்ஸ் ஆர் லைக் தட் ஃபாரஸ்ட் இட் கீப்ஸ் க்ரோயிங் ஆன் இட்ஸ் ஓன் விதவுட் ஈவன் மை அப்பேரண்ட் ஏஜென்சி இட் கீப்ஸ் கோயிங் iravu seiyum vai iravu sei it is because of the darkness of ignorance that this forest is growing it's a little paradox that's a loveliness of our divine poetry generally the forest grows in the day time because of the sunlight of forest grows na but this forest called uh, this forest of sin grows in iravu seiyum in the night time <laughs> night time means darkness darkness means ignorance ignorance is the cause of all our sins na the moment the sunlight of dawn you know when the sunlight dawns in our heart then all these sins would be burnt tikoli vegindradal like a big forest fire completely burning <laughs> our forest and not only that and also creating a wonderful nectarine tree in place of this thorny horrible 
sinful forest. Why? Because I chanted the divine name Govinda, Govinda or I have surrendered to Perumat. And here our Sri Sri Anna says, even without chanting the divine name, you enter into Venkatagiri, all our papas are burnt and hence as a result of it, even Govinda comes in the mouth, in the lips of people who have never said Govinda in their lives. Have you ever experienced this? People just want, I like to see Venkateshwara Perumal. <laughs> so I like forests, I like trees, I like hills. And so they come. The moment they come, they step into the Venkatagiri, listening to all others saying, Govinda, Govinda, Govinda. They also, even without their logic or intellect working, would utter Govindana. Why? Why Bhavam of the Venkatagiri? And so, just like how the divine name burns all the sins, our Venkatagiri burns all our sins. That's why it's called Venkatagiri. Our Swamiji also celebrates this, the equivalent. Venkatagiri is no different from Govinda Nam. In our song, Govinda Vundan Namame Ajag. Bhagavan, our Swamiji looks at Bhagavan and says, Govinda, your name is beautiful. Even after looking at the form of the Lord, which creates infatuation to the Lord Himself, huh? says our Uddhava Swami. When the Lord looks at His lovely countenance in, a, in the mirror, He Himself gets a little shaken, huh? <laughs> looking at His beauty. Saubhagam, Saubhagam. He gets Saubhagam while looking at His own uh, beauty. Our Swamiji, looking at that lovely face, is saying, Govinda. Huh? Then imagine the loveliness and sweetness of Govinda Nama which our Guru Maharaj must be experiencing. For a beginner, Govinda Nama is a sound. But for a Mahatma, Govinda Nama is an experience which is beyond all understanding which is indescribable, which is out of this world, etc. So he's saying, Govinda, Undan Namame Ajag. So beautiful your name is. In that he says that uh, in this divine hills, the Nama Yedirolikum is resonating here and there. Venkatatil Yedirulikum Namam. You see. Mandipa Yum Venkatatil Yedirulikum Namam. Mandipa Yum Venkatam is Anjanadri and Venkatadri. In that, this name is resonating here and there. Goinda, 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 Goinda. Resonating. Generally, when you go to a mountainous region, it is easy for us to get uh, echo because there will be caves. Na? So, when you shout, it will echo back. And what is echoing back in our seven hills is Govinda Nama Sankirtana. So he is saying, just like how Venkatadri burns all the sins, so does the divine name Govinda Nama. Namam solle chulle pavon par didu Namu solle chulle punniyam ser didu Namam sollu bombari That he says, come. Let us all chant the divine name as we keep chanting. Solla, solla. Not after you chant Govinda. While you are chanting Govinda, pavam parandidum, like crows sitting on the branches of a tree. The moment you clap, all the crows will fly out while you are clapping, isn't it? Likewise, all the dark sins which are sticking to our uh, being or soul or body or whatever, ignorance, would all fly away the moment we say, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, 
राम राम हरे 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 कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे हरे नामम सुल्लुवोम वारि कम लेट्स ऑल चैंट द डिवाइन नेम एज यू कीप चैंटिंग द डिवाइन नेम द सिन्स विल फ्लाई ऑफ एज यू कीप चैंटिंग द डिवाइन नेम ऑल द पॉजिटिव थिंग्स विल बी एडेड अपॉन अस इट इज डन इमीडिएटली इट इज डन साइमल्टेनियसली लाइक हाउ दिस माधवा हां that very scholar who sinned a lot when he entered into the hill all his sins were burnt and he also immediately became a virtuous vedic person in another song namo namo shrinivasa anisho namo namo shri venkatesha that he sings शेषशयन श्रीनिवास नमो नमो अशेष पाप घर श्री वेंकटेश वेंकटेश वेंक मीन्स पापम कथा मीन्स दट विच कंप्लीटली बर्न्स सो ही ब्यूटिफुली यूसेस अशेष पाप हर श्री वेंकटेश in a madhura geetha such is the greatness of venkatadri burns the sin the moment we reach there such that's why walking up the hill is not just a vratam of course it's fun all that but as we cross these hills we take the time to get the benefit of the divine presence in the hills itself before we see the center of all divinities the center of all divine presence which is the murti of our shrinivasa peruma uh-huh. and so we saw the seven hills let me quickly summarize the seven hills we have sesha chala because adi sesha hmm, our uh, anantanag himself became those hills then we had vrishabadri which was named after nasura who had antima smarana antima darshana antima kripa of bhagavan and then we saw narayanadri a great rishi who followed vaikana sagama and who was also instructed by bhagavan to follow this way of worship and to this day our shrinivasa perumal is worship by vaikana sagama method only and then we had anjanadri hanuman ji's divine place of descent then we saw venkatadri today and then there is garuda garuda adri when our garuda brought back the amritam the nectar for his for uh, relieving his mother from bondage as drop actually spilt in many places garuda spent a little while resting in one of the hills and so it's called garuda adri and we have one more hill called simha adri which is associated with narasimha permal and hence it is to seven hills hmm? saptagiri and now we will enter into from the next satsang onwards the divine story of tondaman chakravarti how our perumal revealed himself to tondaman chakravarti that would be the next series of pravachans which will come in the weeks to come may our aishwarya shrinivasa perumal ever bless us with all abundance joy peace love dispassion knowledge sarva loka sharanya shri sheshadri shikara prabho abayam dehi govinda makyam dinaya madava prapannam rakshamam deva prabho venkatanayaka bhavat kadam jividam me sharanagada vatsala kayena vacha manasendriye va buddhyatmana va prakrte swabhavat करोमि यद्यत् सकलं परस्मै नारायणायेति समर्पयामि सद्गुरु महाराज की जय